Hey guys, so how's it going? In this video, I'll show you how to create these Squid Game balls. And all you have to do is just go to canva.com and then you go to create a design and then you just uh, type in uh, square or just type Instagram because we want an Instagram type post uh, for square posts. Yeah, 1080 cross 1080 pixels. Uh, just going to take that. Okay you have that and then you go to, over to elements and then search squid game then you go to graphics and you have these triangle square and circle shapes right so we're gonna need all the three uh, I'm gonna start with the circle let's change this background to black so there you go let's go and then select the circle and change it to white all right and we're going to duplicate this we're going to duplicate this as well we're going to change this to square okay and we're going to change the color of that as well there you go and then this will be a triangle you can get rid of the circle okay and the triangle will be a white triangle there you go we're going to download these three images to do that just go to share download and pages one to three just download it to your computer all right so here i am inside blender let's just delete everything over here now i'm just going to go to render cycles gpu now bring down the samples to 32 um Go for optics if you don't have optics that's fine you can just uh keep open image denoise that's fine um color management to standard and medium contrast okay uh you can change this to medium high contrast as you wish like we'll take a look at that later on for now um let's bring in a sphere uv sphere and i'm just gonna do shade auto smooth okay and now let's go to shading tab and now over here uh we're gonna create a new material right i'm just going to change this to the shading yeah. oh right so there's there are no lights over there um so in, in order to bring in lights what i'm going to do is just get an environment texture and i already have a few Textures downloaded. I'm gonna use and in case so the background kind of bothers me, so I just go to um, render properties and then go to film and then click transparent. There you go. Now I'm happy with the lighting setup. Okay. So um, now what we're gonna do is create the material from scratch. So I'm just gonna expand this a bit. So that you can see it properly all right so first of all we let's so first of all uh just check if you have no wrangler enabled or not go to edit preferences and see if you have node wrangler installed or not um if you don't uh, go to get extensions type node wrangler you'll get the add-on install it and then you can just enable it okay so now click uh, click on principal bsdf node control t and you get image texture node over here and now in this image texture we're going to bring the um, downloaded no uh, downloaded textures that we have okay so you can see that it has been applied but it looks a bit distorted uh, which i do not want so what i'm going to do is go to uv editing and change this to viewport shading tab. So now what you're going to do is select all the faces of this mesh. And to do that, I'm just going to simply press A. And that's all. You select all the faces of the mesh. And then you see these vertices being selected over here, right? Press S and then X. So that it stretches like that. 
and I'm kind of happy with that. That's it. You have the circle ball over there, right? But you want to, let's say if you want to change the color of this black ugly thing and look at that, it's being applied continuously like it's a repetitive pattern. So let's go to shading. Let's fix this. Uh, we want to change the repeat to clip and now it's looking all right right but what i want is to change the color of this black uh ball i don't want this to be black i want this to be pink so what i'm gonna do is let's drag this over here and create a mix shader node okay and now I'm going to press control and then right click to cut this off. Get the color node into the factor node. Okay. Okay. And then change this color to whatever you feel like. So I'm going to change this to purple or pink. And I'm just going to turn down the roughness to like 0 0.2. Okay. Now. Another thing is that this circle is black, but I don't want it to be black. I want it to be white. So what I'm going to do is create another principal BSDF node and then connect it to the shader. Just like that, you have a pink ball with a white circle and you can change this to whatever you wish. And you can change the look of it. I'm just going to change the emission. I'm um, going to pump it up to 1. There we go. Bright. That's what I want. Okay. So this is fine. Now, it's pretty much the same process for the other three balls, or the other two balls. And I'm just going to call this circle click since we are in the process. Okay. Uh, let's just duplicate this by doing shift d and bring this over there okay now this i want this to be a square right if i want a square um i'll just go to this button and that means that material is duplicated and i'm just going to call it square okay and now i'm just going to change this image here yeah, this was 1.png so i'm just going to change this to 2.png i'm just going to select the square really quick and this can be done from your own um, computer very easily and now that's selected and you have the square and i'm just going to do the same process over and over again for the triangle and this time this will be triangle material Okay, and then I'm just going to change this to the triangle. There you go. Okay, cool. So you have the squid game balls.